want to have some fun. I want to laugh and I want to see some terrible, stupid reactions to the Barbie movie because as much as this has been a great movie, as much as this is the most popular movie in the world right now, it's the number one movie in the world, it's already made like hundreds of millions of dollars, there has been some reaction from others who have not appreciated this film. So I decided now was as good a time as any to react to some of those videos because like I said, I need a good laugh. I don't do reviews. This is not a review channel. I will say, obviously, I personally loved the Barbie movie. I saw it on Friday when it came out. Absolutely obsessed. I think it's amazing. Um, I think everything about it is amazing. It's just the perfect metaphor for womanhood. And especially it really works well as a trans metaphor, which I feel like might be part of the reason some people have such an issue with it. I don't know. It's also just really fun and kind of campy and like it makes men not the center of the universe, which is clearly what makes them so uncomfortable. So that is what I want to react to today. I think that would be so, so much fun. So, so I'm going to look this up on YouTube. Excuse me, my computer's over here. So if I'm looking over here, that's why. So I just decided to Google Barbie Ben Shapiro because you know, if anybody's going to have a terrible, terrible reaction to this movie, it's going to be him. Now he did upload a movie that says, Ben Shapiro destroys the Barbie movie for 43 minutes, which seems so funny to me because 43 minutes is a ridiculous amount of time to talk about a movie that you hate. I find it so funny that there are so many men who have seen this movie just to be mad about it when you knew it wasn't for you. From the get-go, this was not for you. So I do find this reaction very, very funny, but I will say I'm probably not gonna be watching all 43 minutes because that sounds stupid. Also, it's technically 42.45 minutes. So you're still like quite a bit off for 43 minutes. Like girl, come on. Just by the way, I want you to all take a moment and like send me a comment to my poor ears for having to listen to this man because he has the most grating voice on the face of the planet. And that is coming from me, who I'm sure there are going to be people who are like, you have a very grating voice. Yeah, well, I'm not him. So I don't want to give him money for this. This is annoying. Spoiler alert, I can pretty much already tell you by the Barbies in the trash can, he already is foreshadowing how he feels about the film. Oh, and he's claiming that his producers dragged him to see that. Girl, <laughs> why do you have producers who hate you? Like, this is so fucking funny. His comment, it was one of the most woke movies I've ever seen. Oh, Mary, most woke. I just, that doesn't even feel like grammar to me. It's the most woke movie where it's, oh my God. If you're going to do like Barbies and play acting with them, like at least give us somewhat of the same level of like most popular girls in school. Like you've got to do better than this. Like this is pathetic. And also that match isn't even lit girl. So like you're going to set them on fire. I love that he says the producers dragged him like, I don't believe you. Um, I actually believe that you saw this of your own volition because you wanted to be mad about it. Like, there's no reason for you to have seen this movie. You knew that it was not gonna be for you. The ads told you this was not gonna be for you. Like all of these men who get upset that this movie was not for them when it clearly was not for them. What do you expect? Bitch, I am not listening to your stupid ad roll. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, it's a horrific movie, okay. And you are the paragon. I know you, I'm sure, know tons about movies. Yeah, you're a regular fucking... Put aside all of the beautiful costumes, which is there for the ladies. What? <laughs> the costumes are just there for the ladies. I... What? Every movie has costumes. And they're, yes, they're gorgeous because they're based on a doll who has been, had every major designer make clothes for them. Like Bob Mackie has designed Barbie gowns. So it's just kind of funny to suggest like, and also all of this is for women. Like none of this is for you, dude. Like, what do you, I don't get it. I don't get it. Barbie turns on the water and there's no water. Ooh, because you know, like in Barbie house, there's no actual <laughs> water. Do, do you get it? <laughs> Oh my God, I was, oh my God. The idea that he feels like he has to explain 
yes, we get it. She's a doll. Just because you don't find shit funny. Like, what do you find funny? Tranny jokes? Like, I imagine his sense of humor is like middle school at best. The intended audience for this film is moms and their eight-year-old daughter. No, no, no. It's literally not a movie for children. I can tell you that. Just because children showed up does not make it a children's movie. Let's be clear. Like, no. God, this is so fucking boring. Where's your destroying? This movie was clearly made for lesbians. Like, what do you, you clearly know nothing. This is also the same man who said that women's orgasms didn't exist. So he's not exactly the brightest tool in the shed. My prediction is going to just absolutely fall off a cliff. After I that. cannot wait until he is absolutely proven wrong because there is no way in hell everyone has reviewed this movie well. You're the only jackass who doesn't seem to get it. Like, or excuse me, men. There's a lot of men who don't seem to get it. But like, yeah, no, this is going to do very, very well for a long time to come. And I can't wait to see you be proven wrong because you're a fucking moron who doesn't know anything about anything. Written by two people who are so smug and self-satisfied. <laughs> Smug and self satis Oh, God. Coming from you, saying other people are smug and self-satisfied is so funny to me. Like, coming from you, dude, that is like... Oh, my God. It's, it's the complete lack of self-awareness for me from this man. And I get it. Like, a lot of people aren't self-aware. He's also a YouTuber. Spoiler alert, we're not always the most self-aware. And I also have to wonder, like people like Ben Shapiro, I really have to sincerely wonder how much they actually believe the bullshit that comes out of their mouth. Because it's just so stupid and just so like nonsensical that it really does feel like they're just saying what they know their audience wants to hear, whether or not they actually believe it. Like, I just really have to wonder if he, or he just wants a reaction. He doesn't even care if his audience or any audience likes it. He just really wants a reaction and people are going to give it to him. Hello, I'm right here. So like attention for attention's sake, regardless of whether or not it's good attention or bad attention. Again, that kind of like middle school level boy humor of like, I just want to say the most absolutely offensive, stupid shit and see what I can get away with and get attention for it. He doesn't care whether or not people are telling him he's wrong or dumb or whatever. He just wants the attention because he is ultimately like an attention whore. So, and that's fine. Like just own up to it. I'm the first person to say, I love being the center of attention, but I'm going to own up to it. That's why I make YouTube videos. Nobody is making YouTube videos because they don't like attention. Attention. Like his takes are not that interesting. He could have made them a blog if he didn't want to be like, no, like he's obviously, you know, wants the attention. Marriage story, I cannot speak to. That didn't even remotely interest me. But then I don't like seeing straight people do anything, let alone this asshole. They hate Barbie or that we're supposed to kind of like Barbie? Oh God, did we watch the same movie? Like, I guess it's, I guess it's because he lives in his own white cis man bubble that he doesn't have to think about, like the deeper themes. He doesn't know what it means to be a woman. So of course, you're just going to take it at face value of like, I have no concept for what this actually is or what this actually means. Again, it's not for you, bud. I don't know what you expected. He's so boring. Why does he have almost 7 million subscribers? He's so fucking boring. Again, I get it. He's he's preaching to the lowest common denominator, first of all. He's also preaching to the same type of energy of like middle school boy humor. And like, I think there are a lot of people who are hate subscribed to him, which like, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. It's so sad. It's so sad. Do you have fun? Do you laugh at all? Do you have anything that entertains you? Because somehow I seriously doubt it. It just feels like you're so boring. I don't know what that's like. Maybe it's because the daughter character initially has a negative reaction to Barbie and says things that apparently this man was not alive in the 2010s. Maybe he was in a coma because I remember very distinctly in like the early 2010s when it became a huge thing for adults to be dissecting Barbie and how she's like unfeminist. But then there was also guys talking about it. So it was like really, really weird. The amount of people who had so much shit to say about Barbie, a child's toy and how it promotes unrealistic body standards and all of this stuff. And like, not to belabor the point, but like Barbie is to human women 
as Cabbage Patch Kids are to human babies. Like, dolls just naturally do not look like real people. That is not the point of dolls. They're the size and proportions that they are because they're for children. Like, Jenny Nicholson does a great point talking about this in her video on the Star Wars dolls. And she really explains it really, really well. It's not like a long segment, but I think it does a better job of explaining like the why of why dolls like Barbie are the size that they are. And it's like, it's the long story short is it's for kids with clumsy hands so they can change the clothes and shit and it has to be a certain way. So this idea that like, because the movie is commenting on the way real people were acting about Barbie really recently, that somehow it means the filmmakers hate Barbie. I just find that so funny because that's not the message at all. But like, again, I feel like he's just taking like bits and pieces and then just formulating a thought in his head about what that means. And, you know, I guess that is kind of what art is. It is very much, you know, up to the watcher and their own experiences to interpret and extrapolate what the meaning of this was. And for someone like him, I guess it does make sense that he would have this kind of reaction because it's not a movie for him. It doesn't speak to anything he can relate to because he's a cishet white man. And he's also a Republican who has no concept of empathy or apparently logic, but whatever. He's viscerally angry. <laughs> I love that. I love that you're so... It, like, so invested in hating this. It's so, like, oh my god. Don't you have real shit to worry about? In the real world, women can't be anything. And that's one of the messages of the film. She does not say, in the real world, women can't be anything. And I know it's a thing that people like him do. And so I know that I can't really argue with it because it's just their own stupid bullshit. But, like, you're taking actual quotes and then adding shit that they didn't say but that you interpreted... And then completely mischaracterizing what was said. The Barbies is a trans Barbie. And this is treated totally normal. <gasps> oh my God, a trans Barbie. Barbie. What will happen? What's he gonna say? It's gonna be stupid. A voice again, deeper than my own. <laughs> ah! Okay. Yeah, well, that says nothing for you, actually. So, I don't know. That just says how high your fucking voice is. And again, very grating and annoying, but that's not the point. Um, you know, if we're gonna go tit for tat here talking about people's voices, like, girl, okay. And I love, like, it's treated normally. Wow. So shocking. Barbie, which is supposed to represent every woman, has a trans character, which, by the way, like, her transness is not ever discussed in the film because it's not that important to the film, but like, oh my god! Another fucking a you know what? I'm done. I am so sorry. I cannot take another five minutes of him after a goddamn ad. I must do marginalizement. I haven't seen this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I'm so obsessed with this person saying, I have not seen this movie, but I have a very strong opinion of what I think happens in it. Marginalized men. Oh, oh my God. That's so funny. Like, sweetie, and you're a woman. Oh my God. I cannot. I cannot. And I know you can't argue with these people. I know they are so lost in the sauce, deep in their own bullshit. Like I know there is no arguing with that, but that is so funny to be like, why is this, this? I've not seen this movie. So I have no like actual basis. I'm just basing it off what I've heard from other people who act the same way, who have also never seen the movie. Like, oh God, okay. But if that is true, why must you do it? If that's true! <laughs> oh my God, I love that. It's like that Futurama line where they're like, interesting if true. Like, you don't even know. You're just making shit up. And then being on the news and calling that news. Oh, how does Fox News do it? I mean, they truly got the, like, fictionalized shit down. Like, they are telling stories to themselves and to people who agree with them that are not based even remotely in reality. How are you going to have these people on air commenting about a movie that they have not seen, talking as if they are 
experts on this movie and what it's about. That is so wild to me. That one of Barbie's main three sidekicks is, surprise, surprise, a man. I mean, sidekicks are Ken. I know they're talking about the trans character, but that, no, no. I love that they said sidekicks as well. She's a doctor, excuse your mouth. But also like Barbie's sidekick is Ken and has always been Ken. So, and actually, Dr. Barbie has been in every single ad ever. So if you didn't know she was trans, that is on you for having an issue with that and being like, oh my God, they didn't tell me she was trans. Okay, and? You know what's unfortunate is it's just like, it's exactly the talking points you would think they are, but they're not even, like, I don't even find this interesting anymore. And the whole thing of like, is it too woke? Like, white people need to stop saying woke, especially Republicans. You don't know what the fuck it means. You just see it as, is it too inclusive? That's really what woke means to these Republicans. Is this movie too inclusive? Does it include too many people? Because it should apparently just be about, like, I don't know, white people or cis people or straight people. And it's like... Okay, like just say you're racist and homophobic and transphobic. Stop saying this movie's too woke. Like just call it what it is. You're racist and homophobic and transphobic. Like just say it. Like it's not fine, but like if you admit it, at least we can just move on. When you pretend it's like this this whole agenda and it's so woke. Like, oh God, it's just, it. that isn't even what that word means. This is how Ben Shapiro saw it in any event. Oh, goody. So she's reacting to Ben Shapiro. Oh, you know this is going to be good. She's not seen it, so she's just reacting to his dumb ass. Oh, my God. I cannot believe this. Editor's note here. You know what the most wild thing about this entire clip with Megyn Kelly and these three women is that None of them have actually seen the movie, so they're all basing their entire reaction on the opinions of one man. It would be satire if it was even remotely funny, but it's literally just three women who are basically saying, I haven't seen the movie, and I can't have an opinion for myself, so I'm just gonna base it on what some man has told me. You could not write this if you tried, because someone would say, wow, that's so woke. And like, actually, no, it's just, reality it's it's so wild quintessential image of what a, a woman should be but never will be with the teeny tiny waist and the enormous boobs and the forever legs there's a scene towards the end where american Ferrer gives an amazing speech about like womanhood and what that means and like what's expected and how it's really absurd that we expect a doll to be held to the same standards that actual women are held to all the time. And that it's really weird how we as a society have decided that Barbie, who is an inanimate object in the real world, should be responsible for everything. Like, she has to be the one to answer for the patriarchy. She has to be the one to answer for why she was designed the way she was by a middle-aged woman in the 1960s. She has to be the one to answer for all of society's ills. Critics are touting it as a stunning takedown of toxic masculinity. That's a bad sign. I love the idea that taking down toxic masculinity is a bad thing, that they would rather men be, like, toxic masculinity is that really how you feel like do you really want men to be able to say hey sweet cheeks and slap you on the ass like is that really what you want because there are men who do that and megan kelly of all people after what she had to put up with it's so wild to me that she would like be okay with all of that like she would think yeah that's totally acceptable how are you really gonna sit there and be like no, toxic masculinity is fine. But I will say, I mean, if Barbie's not trans in the in the movie, like that's something <laughs> in the in the Greta Gerwig. Wow, she just really went right out and said it. Barbie's not trans, so that's good. And actually, I would argue that Barbie very much is trans. She says very loudly that she does not have a vagina. So if that doesn't say it, I don't know what will. And then she gets one at the end of the movie because what? She got bottom surgery. Maybe that's where I should end this because I just think this is all so 
ridiculous. Like it's so ridiculous. It's so stupid. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to comment down below. Tell me, you know what? Tell me your favorite part of the Barbie movie. Until next time, stay devilish. And also have fun. I hope you have fun because like, I feel like a lot of people aren't having fun. These people especially are not having fun. There's so much misery here. It's really kind of sad. Okay, bye.